Stocks and bonds. So we're going to learn about stocks and bonds. We usually hear from dramas about shares with family members fighting for shares of the company. So we're going to talk about those things. We're going to be familiarized at some point, at least be familiarized with the basic of stocks and bonds. Stocks usually also refers to shares. So stocks and bonds are the ways of the company in order for them to raise money. So stocks, if you buy stock, it means that you're going to partly own the company. The higher your stock, it means the higher your percentage of owning the company. If you have a lot of shares, so it means that you are a big owner of the company. But if you have bonds, usually it is the company's way of raising money by lending to a particular person. So you do not own the company because the company just owe you money because they borrowed money from you so it means that if you if you have bonds so it will be surely that you the company needs to pay you with the amount and the interest and the coupons that you're going to receive however if you have stocks it could be that the company may not be able to pay you if they will be bankrupt but if they have a lot of profit so you could earn more with the stocks that you have if it is bonds so you're going to have this specific amount that you're going to receive at them at the end of mature of at the end of the period however if you have shares it could be high or it could be low so there's a, a greater risk of Failing. So now we're going to learn about stocks and bonds. So first is we're going to tell about if the characteristic is a characteristic of a stock or a bond. Now letter A, the buyers become owners. So is it referring to stocks or bonds? So of course it would. It refers to stocks. But if the invest investors are guaranteed payments and returns, that is for bonds so the term that makes it sh make us sure that it refers to bonds because of the guarantee because if you have shares you will not be guaranteed that you're going to have return because probably if the company will be bankrupt so you're not going to have a return so it's not guaranteed however there's a big the higher risk of earning more with stocks than with bonds so we're going to answer questions problems we in relations to stocks and bonds so first one is a corp a corporation declared the dividend of twenty five thousand for its common stocks suppose there are 180 shares of common stocks how much is the dividend per share so the term here which is not very familiar is dividend so what is dividend dividend is the profit so it would be the profit to the company that will go to the shareholders so it means that it's on paghati hati and among shareholders so it depends also on how many shares you have so for this one so the question is how much is the dividend per share so to solve for the dividend per share all you have to do is divide the dividend by the number of shares or the number of common stocks or the number of stocks so for this one the dividend is 25,000 this is the profit and pagati ng 180 stocks so the answer is 225,000 divided by 180 it's 138. 89 so basically per stock you're going to receive 138.89 so uh, number two a corporation declared a dividend of 40 per share for the common stock if the common stock closes at 48 percent how large is the stock yield ratio on this investment so we're going to solve for the stock yield ratio so the stock yield ratio for for it to be solved what we're going to do is div dividend divide by the market value. 
So the dividend is 40 pesos. So 40 pesos divided by the market value, which is 48. So the answer would be percent. So the answer is 40 divided by 48. That's 83.33% or 0.833. So, so that's it. So we're done with stocks. We're going to proceed with number three, which is a problem on bonds. Determine the amount of a semi-annual coupon paid for a 2% bond with a face value of 20,000 which matures after 10 years. So a semi-annual coupon is the amount that you're going to receive before you're going to receive the, the amount or the face value. So example is um, you the company owed you 10,000 and they promised that you're going to receive 20,000 at the end of five years. However, at, during semi and semi annually you're going to receive a specific amount so before you're going to receive the 20,000 is it 20,000 they're going to pay you periodically so probably example 5,000 per per six months so that's the coupon so for this one it's two percent it's two percent and the face value is 20,000 so the face value that's how much are you going to receive at the end so so 20,000 just multiply it by the percent which is 0 0.2 so 20,000 multiplied by 0 0.02 is equal to 400 so that's the 400 it's this is annual so you're going to divide 400 divide by 2 that's 200 so this is the semi-annual coupon that you're going to receive so before you're going to receive two twenty thousand you're going to receive 200 pesos semi-annually so the last problem is a 40,000 bond is redeemable at 55,000 after two years Coupons are given at 4% convertible semi-annually. Find the amount of the semi-annual coupon. So what you're going to do in here is this one. So 40,000, just multiply it by the coupon, which is 4%. So 4% is 0 0.04. So 40,000. Um, multiply by 0 0.04 that's 1,600 just divided by 2 16,000 divide by 2 or 6, 1,600 divided by 2 that's 800 so the answer is 800 so that's how you're going to solve problems involving stocks and bonds thank you